A family of four from the South Brownville Park is grateful to be alive after a fire, which was electrical in nature, destroyed the upper flats of their two-story home. The fire started around um, one something, four in the morning, Sunday, and my, ma my aunt was watching television and her son was downstairs around the time. And while she, she watching television, she heard a song in the, in the bedroom. So she thought her son was still knocking because he was knocking earlier downstairs. And, um, she didn't take it for nothing. She heard a song in the bedroom, like Pax. So when she asked, he said, no, he's not knocking anymore. So she continued to watch the television. And eventually, she started to smell something burning. <coughs> so when she get up to go to the, the room, that's when she opened the door and saw the fire engulfing the blind or, or, or some clothes inside of the bedroom. The upper flat of the house was destroyed by fire, and the family was unable to save most of the items from their home. Nonetheless, they sang praises of the firefighters who arrived promptly at the scene. They were able to quell the fire and save the lower flat, which houses a business. Fortunately, it is still operational. And within, um, let's say, three minutes, five minutes, they were already here, and they were able to um, doze the building, leaving it at this state here. So we want to thank them and credit them that they would have came with enough things to um, help us have um, some form of something to leave back. Downstairs was um, both places were, um, were damaged a bit in terms of water and some fire, but we were able to um, outdoors quickly. The Thomas family has been living in South Romwell Park for the past 30 years. The house was insured and as such, they plan to rebuild soon. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers.